Today's podcast is brought to you by Anchor. And if you haven't heard about Anchor by Spotify, let me tell you, it is the easiest way to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. Let me explain. Anchor has tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. When hosting on Anchor, you can distribute your podcast on listening platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. And best of all, Anchor is totally free. So download the Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. I can't wait to hear what you create. Hello, truth seekers. This is Welcome to Your Life. I am your host, Renee Reed. Don't forget to connect with me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at I am Renee Reed. So, as we approach January 1st, 2018, I have a question for you. Are there any relationships that you need to leave behind in 2017? Are there any people or persons who no longer serve you? no longer serve your purpose, are a distraction to where you want to go. Now I know that no relationship is 50-50 and I am not suggesting that you clear out your entire contact list on your phone But I am asking you to reflect on what it is that you're getting from the people who share your space. So while you ponder that question, I want you to relax, sit back, and let's get started. Hi guys, we're back. So, I know how hard it is to let go of family and friends, especially the ones that have been in your life for a very long time. I have a hard time getting rid of an old skirt or pair of jeans from 1980 that I know I will never get into again. But it's hard to let go of things, especially those things or people in our lives who we think bring us comfort. We get attached to them. They are part of the very fabric of our being. And it's hard to let go. But what we have to ask ourselves is where do we want to go? How do we want to be remembered? Are we following the path that God has set for us? Are we connected to him and traveling according to his will? If you answer no, then you need to take a look at the people that share your space. Sometimes you have to eliminate dead weight. And the new year is a new time for you to start over, to leave those things that are behind and to push forward to the high calling in Christ Jesus. I know it sounds a lot easier than it is, but it's something that must be done. You are identified by the people who share your space. Have you, do you remember when our moms used to tell us, don't hang out with that girl or that boy 
guilt by association. It's the same thing. Even as adults, we have to ask ourselves, what is this person bringing to my purpose? How do they enhance where I want to go? What am I getting from this? Are my needs being met? And I do want to encourage you to make sure that you are communicating what you need from any relationship, whether it is a work relationship, a girlfriend or boyfriend, a spouse, be clear about what you need so that you can communicate with the other person and to see if they can give that to you. Sometimes we wait and we wait and we wait for people to change and they are not capable of changing. You know, my mother used to always tell me when I started dating, don't try, don't date a man you need to change. I should have listened. <laughs> but it's so true, especially as women. You know, we date, we marry, we have girlfriends. We are the saviors of the world. And there's only one savior, and it's not us. And while we are trying to work uh, our magic on these people who we think we need in our lives, we are missing out on opportunities to grow, expand, and to rise above further than we could ever think or imagine. So think about that for a moment. And I Hi again. So listen, as we close out, I want you to take a few moments before the clock strikes 12 tomorrow night. And make a list of the people in your circle. Your inner circle, your middle circle, and your outer circle. Now your outer circle are people who really don't impact you that much. So you want to focus on your inner circle and your middle circle. So you're going to take a piece of paper, you're going to draw three circles, and you're going to write the names of the people who you depend on or the people who depend on you, the people who you look to for advice, the people who you interact with, the people you love, the people you think you love, the people you hope love you, all of that. You're going to write down their names and then you're going to reflect on this question. Does this person connect me to my purpose or do they interfere with my purpose? Do they connect me to my purpose or do they interfere with my purpose? If I am trying to get to church, are they the person who says, you don't have to go to church today? Hmm. If I am trying to work out, are they the person who is bringing home cakes and brownies and saying, hey, let's go eat out, even though you said, I can't eat out this week, I am on a cleanse, or I'm fasting, or I am really trying to eat better. 
We have some hard decisions to make if we want to get to the next level in our lives. And the truth of the matter is, and this is something my grandma told me, the closer you get to God, the smaller your circle will become. So the closer or the more that you move into your purpose, the smaller your circle will become. And that can be painful and lonely, but we have to remember what Jesus told us. He said he would never leave us nor forsake us. And I am a witness that what he said is true. So, until tomorrow, New Year's Eve, I am praying that this was helpful. And I'm hoping that you try the little the exercise that I mentioned and give it a shot. See how the people who share your space, how they uh, pan out. You might have some weeding to do. As always, I hope that you share this with someone you love. And leave me a comment or call into the station. I would love to hear from you. Until tomorrow, bye-bye.